I'm John Merck here. Thanks for joining us for an important conversation with the superintendent, David Munoz. David, thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. I want to talk about the start of the school year because being in the buildings, being in the district, there's a really good energy this year. Tell me about how the school year started out. Uh, it's going really well. You know, I like to be in the buildings on a regular basis uh, daily in, in quite a few buildings, and there is some great energy. I just met with the music team yesterday. I think it was for a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, it just happens that I was in the band and uh, <laughs> went to Lawrence University, which has a conservatory. Um, so we had some wonderful energy. That was just yesterday uh, for a couple hours, just talking through um, their, their wonderful programs here in the school district of Menominee Falls. So leaves it's been a great start. Yeah, it leaves me something else I wanted to ask you about. So obviously safety is important in the district. Academics are important. Things like music and art and athletics, why is that so important to the life of a district? You know, I think it's critical. I said one of those things that, that we learned through that COVID era was that a comprehensive school district, high school organization, I mean, these sorts of things, you know, music and band, choir, orchestra, mm -hmm. sports, uh, clubs and activities, all those other things that students are connected to, um, that's, that can be the focus and that can be healthy. That's positive and that is a big thing uh, in the school district of Menominee Falls and, and I think that's something to be continued. The music program, outstanding. Mm -hmm. Some wonderful uh, long-term history with those programs. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the teachers who's actually the department chair uh, for the music is actually the student of several of the people that he's working with. Wow. So it, was, it was a really cool thing to, <laughs> to be involved in yesterday and history for me. That's cool. Yeah. I want to ask you about a couple newsy things while we have the chance that people are talking about in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, one is electricity issues for part of the district because it's an issue for part of the village. Uh, tell me what the district, how the district's been impacted. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, the power outage, the two of them in the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, for different reasons and for different lengths um, has really just affected this side of town. So the high school, um, Ben Franklin uh, and, uh, and Riverside are the only schools that really have been affected by the power outage at this point. Um, but that being said, it is disruptive um, and the timing matters, whether we have food available matters, mm -hmm. you know. The temperature, what the it's temperature, like outside. The, the temperature of the building, whether it's raining out and kids mm -hmm. can go outside. So there's a lot of different things that kind of um, lend into how you react to a situation like that. Um, hopefully, whatever the, the long-term issue is, or uh, clearly there's some sort of issue. I don't know what that <laughs> is, but uh, it's not the school district. I mean, it's something with the... Uh, with the power the grid power, or the with the The power energy. grid or the, the generation yeah. or... I mean, I'm sure they're working on it. You know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to hopefully get to the bottom of it. And I know you're collaborative, so it gives us a chance to talk about the collaboration that the district has with leaders in the village. Mm -hmm. I imagine there must be discussions that go on when something like this happens. Yeah, the village administrator and I meet monthly, and we, we had talked about this uh, after the first and before the one that just occurred recently, and, and he had suggested that there, you know, he was aware of this and, um, we had a good discussion about it, about backup power and the facility mm -hmm. there where the, the school district offices are, the police mm -hmm. and the library. So we, we will have, I'm sure, future discussions about it as well um, in terms of uh, hopefully a long-term solution, you know. Yeah. So the village is great and uh, we energies, you know, we, we were able to get in touch with them directly over the phone, which mm -hmm. was good, mm -hmm. you know, not just the online access. <laughs> so in both times we were able to. So that was good and healthy. So we're just hopeful that whatever the, the issue is, <laughs> clearly there's some sort of issue. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what it is at this time, but, you know, I hope that, you know, I'll continue to ask, collaborate, you know, meet with the village administrator and identify the problem mm -hmm. and, and see what we can do. Um, from the district perspective. We we're talking to Superintendent David Munoz. Really good news coming out, and that's about the mill rate. Yeah. Everybody looks at their tax taxes every year and sees that a large percentage goes to the school district. The mill rate is going down. Explain what that means for people. Yeah, the mill rate is uh, kind of a, an effect of a lot of things. Uh, property valuations, um, so several different factors go into the mill rate. 
Uh, but it is going down. It was at 775 on the most recent tax bill, and it'll be settling in at about 712. Mm -hmm. And I say about 712 because we're still finalizing the student count, and that's how you finalize mm -hmm. the mill rate. Um, but that is that was all came through the annual meeting uh, when all the electors looked at all the numbers and worked everything out. So the mill rate will be going down to about 712, uh, which is a pretty decent drop. Uh, yeah. for people's taxes and it is below the average for the area um, in terms of, of the tax on your on your property and your house um, so there's some other big things in in the annual meeting in the in the budget that we're eliminating all non-referendum debt wow. at the end of this year yeah that is a substantial change and it's in yeah. fund 38 which is non-referendum debt mm -hmm. so by eliminating that debt we're going to save the taxpayers over seven hundred thousand dollars in payments that would have had to been made over time. That's phenomenal. Yeah, that is great. That's a big move uh, because instead of putting the money toward that loan, mm -hmm. we can move it into regular operations, mm -hmm. uh, which we will be doing. Uh, That's a really big deal. It is. I know you like to be in the buildings. You alluded to this earlier. As a guy who's in a lot of meetings and responsible for a lot of staff, why is it important that you get out on a regular basis, very regular basis, mm -hmm. and get in the different buildings? Well, I think it's important that when I'm a central decision maker uh, and involved in a lot of key decisions, that I be aware of what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. Like when I was meeting with the, the music group yesterday, mm -hmm. it's interesting to get that historical multi-year feedback so that the new guy coming here isn't making a short-term decision, but a long-term decision. Yeah. Um, so that's exciting to be in all the buildings as much as I can. Um, I think today, well, I remember my schedule off the top of my head. <laughs> I think I'm going to be in the high school, one of the lunches, in the middle of the day. I think Ben Franklin as well, yep. and Valley View over the next couple of days. So I'm excited to be able to jump around and be involved, um, help out in the lunchrooms or playground or help the principals out when I can. It's good to be involved, check in with the teachers, all of our staff, mm -hmm. um, and the students. You know, I'm getting to know some of the students mm -hmm. pretty well. Um, someone is starting to recognize me and say, I remember you or I saw you yeah. at this sporting event. So, How energizing is it for you when you can get out of the meeting and get in the classroom or in the hallway of a building? Oh, it's exciting. It's always exciting. So I try to get to events as well, like the football game, the mm -hmm. <laughs> all, as many as I can or other events as well. I remember I was at a soccer game and uh, parents were like, you're at a soccer game. And I was like, yes, <laughs> my daughter played soccer for a lot of years. This mm -hmm. is great. And mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they lost that game, but they're a really good team. That visibility is important <laughs> for people to see the superintendent out and about. Yeah. There was one night where I was at soccer, football, swimming, and then by the time I got to uh, boys volleyball, <laughs> I had, it was already too late. <laughs> so I was like, well, it was a good attempt at doing the loop at the, at the high school. So I just got to schedule a little better. Congratulations on a successful start to the school year. Thanks for leading the district. Absolutely. Thank you very much.